beautiful seagulls. So, going past the little chickens. I um, went to the shops today and did a little shopping here to get some some flowers going. And yeah, because I want some I want some lovely flowers on my balcony. And it's just a matter of figuring out how to do it the best way. So these were actually really, really, really quite um, affordable and very durable for hanging on the balcony. So I want my pelagonias that I had last year, these beautiful American ones that have the most amazing scent. And I just they just flower all summer. And but I want to enjoy them already now, so I think I'm going to plant these into some little pots so they can plant them out so they can keep growing. And then later on I'll put them in these. So I got these in the shops. No, where did not no petunia. I mean this is petunia. So these are the sea I took seeds from the flowers last year and they they just do so well. So they're very easy to, to make your own plants. This is a pelagonia. And I think this is, um, what's it called? Dianthus. They're very, very beautiful scented too. So let's get some planting going. some of this peat moss stuff that's sort of really holds the moisture well because uh, our soil is so sandy so when you have it in pots it just it's really hard for the plants to do well so I, I've, I've just mixed it with our own soil a bit of cow manure there so let's get let's get all these into some bigger pots that way they're gonna they're gonna do better for a longer time. Flowers are the best. So wonderful. This is quite a large pelargonium. It's called uh, Queen Ingrid. That's her favourite. The our old ki uh, queen, uh, the queen mother. We can give that an old-fashioned pot. One of these ones here. Have a beautiful strong scent. I think now that the world's changing, people are really the whole thing of uh, what you can do in your home, people are really appreciating more and more the simple things in life. When things are very unsure around you, you can cultivate all the all the things that are just more simple. This actually has quite a large pot, this one. So let's give it an even larger one. This one here. Oops. And 
this one. And this is recycled plastic, but isn't it wonderful? I am recycled. The other day I saw in the shops they had recycled socks. So it's recycled cotton socks. So that's even better than organic, isn't it? Or in a way it is. leaves here. We have a very particular climate here because it's very cold at night. We have very late and very early frosts. So it's one of the two places in Denmark where it's coldest. And then we have very, um, yeah, just very light soil. So, I mean, every every place has its own special conditions, and you have to just learn to make the best of them. But as it is now here in April, late April, the grass really isn't growing. But luckily, we're having this very cold nights because we've had so much sun for a month but no water no rain so but you just have to i just feel god saying just keep going enjoy life and trust that when you just enjoy life and just feel grateful uh, all is well and all is not coincidental I gave them a good watering before, so they're really nice and wet now. And when these are finished, I can plant them into the garden in a protected place, or have them in a pot all winter, and they will come back. They're really easy to grow and flower for so long. these.
balcony. <laughs> so here we are. All done. I've got them hanging on the inside here. And when they the flowers get big they can hang over the outside. So job done. See you my friend. <laughs>